Today's video, we are going to show the basic operation of the Trimble FMX display in an Apache sprayer. The, when you first power up your Trimble FMX, this is what you're going to see. It is an autopilot warning that pops up that lets you know um, the Ag GPS autopilot is now going to start performing and that you need to pay attention to avoid obstacles. So you select OK through that screen. And the last one is an exception form that you're accepting that you take full responsibility of the sprayer uh, and you're paying attention to not let the autopilot uh, drive into something that it should not. So we will accept through that screen. This is your basic run screen of the Trimble FMX. When calling in for any kind of support issue or any kind of warranty work, you need to know the firmware information of your FMX. The System Information tab contains that information. So in our case, our version of firmware is version 6.0. To do any upgrades or to unlock any additional items that you might use on an FMX, it is all done through here, the support tab. So going into basic operation, what we're going to do today is we're going to open up a new field. So to do so, we're going to use the tractor icon in the right hand corner of your screen. This brings up a configuration selection. This gives you the ability to change uh, how the keyboards are laid out on the monitor itself, how your auto steer system is laid out, how your boom and boom sections are laid out. All this can be done within this screen. For basic operation, we've already done all the setup, so we're going to simply select OK. This takes us to the field selection screen of the FMX. In this screen, it allows us to choose a new client, farm, or field, and a new event or job that we're going to be doing in the field. So for today's purposes, I'm going to choose a new field, and we're going to call this Farm 1, and we'll select OK. Event attributes at the bottom of the screen allow you to put in different attributes of your job, like the operator name, his or her EPA, har EPA application number, the harvest year, anything that you might want to put in there for details about the job. We'll select OK through this screen. And once we know everything's set up, we seem to be happy with it, so we will select OK and move forward. What this is going to do is open up the run screen of our Trimble FMX. Just to get you a little more familiar with this screen, what we've got on the left hand side is right now we're viewing an overhead view of the field. We've also got a navigation type view of the field. We've got an information tab that gives us basic information. You can completely edit this, li edit this list. A zoom button that just allows you to zoom in and out on your icon in the field. And then an unlock button. This just goes in and explains all the capabilities of the FMX and what it has to offer um, in case you're looking for more capabilities than what you have right now. On the right hand side of the screen we have a few other items. Right now we are on the AB tab. This means that this screen allows us to put features down in a field, which to give you a description, features are rocks, holes, fences, or areas right now. Um, so say you find something in a field that needs attention later date, and you want to mark it so that we can come back to it and work on it. This is where you choose that item. Also, this is where we choose to start our swaths, so we can start our AB line or uh, whatever we need there. The next tab down on the right is your, um, is your autopilot button. This is where we choose the nudge. In the initial setup of autopilot, you can choose to nudge your AB line over six inches or a foot or whatever you'd like. <clears throat> so where it says no nudge increment in this screen, that's where normally we would have put in a nudge increment so that we could bump the line over slightly. 
The aggressiveness that you see below that, that is how aggressive you want the machine to go after the AB line. Um, it's completely operator preference. The tab below that is our field IQ tab. So this is where we can go in and we can set up our target rate. This is where we can see what our applied rate is. If you click on this page button, this changes the page to where we can look at our, a virtual bin. If we had chosen to set that up, what that does is tells us uh, how many gallons are in the tank at all times. And it gives us a warning letting us know that we're running low and we need to think about refilling. That over arrow takes us to where it shows us what our target and actual rate are. So going back to the AB tab, this is where we're going to be running with today. A few other things on this screen, in the bottom right hand corner is your auto steer icon. When it's red it lets us know that the system is not ready and does not have any AB line to follow. And then the field IQ button just lets us know that the field IQ is not on and operating at this moment. In the bottom left hand corner we have a couple things here. Right now it's going to show us that we are on target with our rate or we're showing overlap. Below that is a button that is the field IQ button. This is going to show us our boom sections and let us know if they are turned on or off. So that's your basic layout of the FMX screen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go right into operating. So once we're ready to start spraying, we're going to go ahead and go into our field, line up on our boundary, and we're going to go ahead and click our master boom switch on our joystick on the Apache. And that's going to turn our field IQ on. And we're going to go ahead and run around the boundary of our field. So now that we've finished our headlands or our boundary around the field, what we're ready, we're ready to start doing now is to go ahead and run our AB lines. So what we want to do is we want to line up wherever we would like to set, set our AB line. So now that I'm set up straight and I'm ready to start my AB line, what I want to do is click on the swaths button. This is going to allow me to come in here and choose a new straight. However, if you want different pat or different patterns, you can come in here and choose your AB or your curve, the pivot or the headland type um, guidance lines. Freeform is also available, which is the last pass version for Trimble. Today we're going to be using AB, straight AB. So we're going to come in here and choose new straight. And a set A button appears on my screen. I'm going to go ahead and set my A. And I'm going to drive down to the other end of the field. Once you drive 160 feet, the set B button appears on your screen and allows you to go ahead and set your B. So at any time you can do that. Go ahead and set our B now. And you can see it throws a guidance line up on the screen. Also you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner of the screen the, a, the autopilot button is now lit up in yellow which just means we are capable of auto steer at this time. I'll get down to the end of the field here and I'm going to go ahead and turn. You'll notice that my section shut off nicely at the end of the field. As I'm turning you'll also see that the AB line switches over and the button in the bottom right hand corner is yellow so I can go ahead and uh, auto steer to that line. You'll see my boom sections turn back on at the end of the field. 
and now I'm auto steering along that AB line that I selected to the other end of the field. At any time when you grab the steering wheel, it overrides the autopilot and says that it's in manual steer, but once you click on that yellow steering wheel, it kicks the auto steer back in and allows us to auto steer with that AB line down the field. The autopilot gives us an end of row approaching warning that just lets us know that the end of the row is coming up and that we need to start paying attention for manual uh, steering. So at the end of the row we overtake the steering, we make our turn, the AB line will move over then and we can tap that yellow button, the yellow steering wheel button, and it will auto steer back down the field on that AB line that we had previously set up. Once we're finished spraying the field and we're ready to close, what we're going to do is in the upper right hand corner of your screen you will see a home button or a picture of a house. Once we tap on that button it's going to ask us if we'd like to cancel which returns us to the current field in case we didn't mean to hit that button, close which closes the current field, and a feature that I really like on the FMX open another. What this will do is it'll close the current field you're in and take you straight to the field selection screen so you don't have to go through so many screens to stop and to start the next field. Once we close this, it does close it and remembers the client farm field event that we were doing. And takes us back to the home screen of the FMX. So when we're ready to start a new job or another field, we can come in and we can choose that tractor icon, select OK to our configuration, and it'll ask us what field we'd like to open. One thing that I would like to talk about here is that if you do choose the existing field and the existing event, when we select OK and we bring this field back up, it will remember all the event information as well as the AB lines that were used in this field. So that's our basic operation for our Trimble FMX. Thank you very much.